Hi, I'm J.R. Ross, Director of Instruction at the Dogwood Golf Academy, and we're here today to talk to you about your grip. Your hands are the only length of the golf club, so it's important that you put them on in a good position that will allow you to consistently make a good golf swing. Having a poor grip will lead to directional problems as well as distance loss on the golf course in your shots. When applying your left hand to the golf club for a right-handed golfer, it's very, very important that the left hand is on the club, the thumb and index finger are close together, and there's a line that's formed by your thumb and index finger. That line should point up to your right shoulder. As you put your left hand on, I'm going through what is called an interlocking grip. You'll interlock the small finger on your right hand with the index finger on your left hand. The key here is the right thumb pad should cover the left thumb and the line that's formed by the, the right thumb and index finger, that line should run parallel to the line that you had on with your left hand. So both hands now are working together on the grip. Okay, one key pressure point in your right hand is you want to make sure your index finger is extended down almost as if you're pulling on a trigger. That's a sign of a good grip when both of these lines are running parallel. Now your hands will work together. So it's very important when you put your hands on the club that the club is sitting more in your fingers and not into the meat part of your hand. Now, as we talk about grip pressure, okay, the simplest way to think about this is if you were holding the club as tight as you could, we're going to assign that a number 10. A 10 is not good grip pressure. If you were holding the club as loosely as you could, that would be a 1. A 1 is also not good. What's important is to have a grip pressure of about 6.5. That will allow you to hold the club securely in your hands while you can rotate your shoulders and your arms to make a good good golf swing. If you're holding on too tight, a good chance that you're going to hit shots that go off to the right because your forearms and hands can't release through the shot. So when you start off having problems with your golf swing, always look at your hands. Incredibly important how good grip leads to good golf swing. For this week, let's work on your grip and if you have any questions, I can easily be reached at the Dogwood Golf Academy. Thank you.